okay fine so this coordinate geometry we have done with the last time right so any doubt from the coordinate geometry you have or we will be starting with a new topic today the new topic no doubt but i have one doubt only yeah. one doubt only one doubt ever solving okay yeah. please tell me that question number from the coordinate geometry uh, yes sir yes okay sir not from this worksheet okay I... not from this worksheet okay you have a different worksheet no okay yes, sir the one which you got from my school okay uh so, can you, so can yeah. i repeat the question means how you will show the um, question then so i am reading out the question can you share the screen you are yes, on computer yes, no yes. okay yes. wait please share your screen i'll take the question tell me the question number then i'll take that question directly sir the first one the first one Yes. Okay, that's it. That's the only one question. Yes. Sir. Okay, stop share. This is that question, right? Yeah. Yes. So over here, if A is B is and the length AB is, then the find the. It's very easy question. Why you have doubt in this? It's a very easy question. See, what you have the value of A, the coordinates of A, they have given two comma minus three, and over here this is B. the coordinates of b also they have given that is 10 comma m yeah also they have given what is the distance between a to b what is that distance that is 10 units yeah so by using distance formula the distance of ab will be equal to under root of x1 minus x2 so the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square right this is what you need to do but distance of ab is already given that is 10 under root of x1 minus x2 you can say uh, 2 minus 10 or you can also do 10 minus 2 both is fine huh? you can do any one but over here if you are doing 10 minus 2 so it will be m minus of minus 3 yeah if you take square on both the sides it will be 100 Is equals to 10 minus 2 is 8 and 8 square is 64 plus m plus 3 whole square. If this 64 goes on this side, it will be 36 equals m plus 3 whole square. Yes or no? So over here, m plus 3 whole square is equals to 36. Then m plus 3 equals how much? Six. Only six. six? Yes, sir. Three. Answer is three. Plus not minus asking six. the answer man plus minus 6 plus six. minus 6 yeah it will be plus minus 6 so you get the two two uh, two values over here what you get plus m 3 plus 3 yeah, yeah who is this sorry sir yeah yeah Please do not shout answer. yeah obviously yeah i i saw you this was the i know he is very much uh, means he is rushing a lot for the uh, answering Fine. M equals three, and over here minus six, <coughs> minus three. <coughs> M equals minus nine. Fine. So the two values of M are three and nine. Any other doubt you have? Anyone else has from the coordinate mm -hmm. geometry? Yeah. Sir, no, sir. Sir, which new chapter? I didn't start. Which new chapter? We are starting with rectilinear figures. First of all. What are polygons? Let us understand what are polygons. Means what Can are rectilinear? Yeah, wait. What are rectilinear figure first? Any figure which is bounded by straight lines. Straight line. Yeah. Any figures which are bounded by straight lines. Suppose this figure. Okay. This kind of figure. So this is a figure, right? This is bounded by straight lines. So any figure which is bounded by straight lines are said as rectilinear figures okay now the next thing which we have is what are polygons sir can i yeah please you are you are sir more... poly polygons are closed <laughs> figures that's it yes no with three or more sides yeah a polygons have more than three sides 
or three or more than three sides. Okay, they are also closed figure, but they will have three sides or more than three sides. So the first type of polygon which you have is the triangle, right? If someone says that this is a polygon, what you will say is it true or false? False, sir. It is true. true. It is uh, true. Sir, more than three sides. No, no, three or more than three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if someone says this is a polygon, you should not say it is false. It is a polygon. Okay. We also means the sub characteristic of that is it is tri triangle, right? If someone says this is, if I draw, uh, if I draw oh, like this, okay. If I say this is a polygon, then what you will say? Is it, tri it, is, is it true or false? True. It is also true. True, true. If I say it is a square, then also it is true. Yeah. No, sir. It is a square. Consider this. All sides are equal. I have drawn. Okay. With scale, I cannot draw because I am using a rough free hand over here. Okay. So over here. Even if you will draw it free hand, it is looking like square only. Then, still, but if you, if someone takes the scale, it will not. Yeah. Sir, someone here is Ashutosh only. Yeah, yeah, Ashutosh only. I know. Okay. So, uh, this is what your square. We can also say it as a polygon okay so there are different types of polygon there is uh, this is now this all are polygons but we have a naming for it as we say for three sides we say it as a triangle okay for four sides we say it as a quadrilateral yeah quadrilateral for five sides when it has five sides at that time what do we say it has a pentagon okay when it has six sides it we say it as hexagon and so on you have it from the textbook uh, i will paste it directly over here yes. yeah this all this all thing you have okay if it is three sides number of based on the number of sides if it has three sides it is a triangle if it has four sides quadrilateral pentagon hexagon heptagon and octagon there are even more nanogon decagon dodecagon and so on right there are even more so now, what we will do, these are polygons. Now there is, there is one more, that is what is convex polygon and what is concave polygon. <coughs> the next part. Now what is convex polygon and concave polygon as I have displayed over here. If each angle of a polygon is less than 180 degree, then the polygon is called as a convex polygon. Okay, means each angle, see if I draw any polygons like this, all the angles are less than 180 degree yeah then it is what convex polygon now what is concave polygon concave polygons are like this if i draw like this this is a concave polygon why it is concave polygon angle is more than 180 yeah this one angle this is more than 180 degree Getting it? Okay. This angle is more than 180 degree. That's why it is concave polygon. Yeah. That's why it is concave polygon. Any type means it can be of any type. Any If any one angle is more than 180 degree, it is concave polygon. And if, any, if all the angles are less than 180 degree, we say it as a convex polygon. Fine. This is done. Convex and concave polygon is done. Now, the next is, let us understand what is the sum of interior angles of a polygon okay now suppose if you are making any polygon like this okay this is any polygon okay any any uh, means any polygon the number of sides how many number of sides it has one two three four five and six it is a hexagon you can say okay it is what hexagon now if I want to know what is the sum of all the angles, sum of all the interior angles of this triangle, of this regular, this uh, this polygon. Okay, if I want to know, so what you can use a simple formula for that. If you want to know what is the sum of interior angles, sum of interior angles sum of interior angles there is a formula for this you can note down this that is 2n minus 4 into 90 degrees into 90 degrees 2n minus 4 90 degree you now over here you have six sides 
right? If you put the value of n as 6 in this, you will get what will be the sum of all the interior angles. See, what we know in triangle, we know it, right? What is sum of all the interior angles in a triangle? 180. 180 degree. 180 degree. Let us check by using this formula. Now, that is also 2n minus 4 into 90. Now, in this triangle, we have how many sides? Three sides. That is 2 into 3 minus 4 into 90. So, that is 6 minus 4, that is 2 into 90, which gives you 180 degree. It's true for triangle. Yeah, it is true for all the polygons. It is true for all the polygons. As you also know, for if I draw a square, right? If I draw the square, what are the sum of all the interior angles? 180. 360. 360, yeah. It is 360. Yeah, yeah it is 360. You can check for this also. That is 2n, so 2n minus 4 into 90. Over here, the number of sides, how many number of sides you have? 4. So that is 2 into 4, four. minus 4 into 90. That gives you 8 minus 4, that is 4 into 90. That gives you 360. Sir, for any quadrilateral, it is 360, no? Yeah, it is for any quadrilateral, it is 360 only. For any quadrilateral. Not only for square, for rectangle, for parallelogram, for rhombus, for any, any quadrilateral. Okay? For all the quadrilaterals, the sum of interior angles is 360 degree. Now, how it is happening like this, right? Why it is happening like this? Because, um, no, that, that part is not required for you. you. You just understand this formula. That is 2n minus 4 into 90 degree. Now, if I want to know what is the sum of all the angles in this, so how many sides you have in this? That is 6. So, 2 into 6 minus 4 into 90 degree in this. That is... 12 minus 4, that is uh, 8, 8 into 90, so that is, that is 720 degrees. That means the sum of all the interior angles in this will be 720 degrees. Okay, even if you want to check it, you draw any kind of figure, any any kind of figure like this, use your, uh, that D in your, means you can try it at your home, measure this angle, measure this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle, and all the angles, and add all of them. You will get, whatever we are coming we are getting with the formula okay you can also do the trial at your home got it yeah fine so you please note this formula sum of interior angles will always for a polygon it is 2n minus 4 into 90 degree now also let us understand what is sum of all the exterior angles sum of all exterior angles sum of all exterior angles. Suppose if I am drawing a triangle like this. Okay. If I am drawing the triangle like this. What are the exterior angles for this? Exterior angle for this will be this. Exterior angle for this will be this. And exterior angle for this will be this. But please note it. The exterior angle whenever you are making. Either it has to be made clockwise or either it has to be made anti-clockwise. Not in both ways. Means if you are drawing over here like this, this line has to be extended like this. You cannot extend the this angle like this and you measure this as the exterior angle. Okay? Everything has to be done in clockwise means like this. Are you getting it? Yeah? So, Sir, yeah. Why can't we do it that way? Why can't you like, do it that yeah. way? The sum will not be 360 the sum of all the exterior angles will be 360 for any polygon. Means either you have to do in a clockwise or either you have to do in an anti-clockwise. Sir, can you show anti-clockwise one? Yeah, fine. For the same figure, I will show. So if you add all the angles, it will be 360. Sum of all exterior angles will always be equal to 360 degree. Yeah? Sum of all exterior angles of a polygon equals how much? 360 degree always not only for triangle you can take any any kind of uh, uh, this polygon suppose if i take like this kind of figure if i have taken this angle this this quadrilateral what i will do to get the exterior angles extend all of them either in a clockwise or either in a anti clockwise now over here if you add all the angles this angle All the sum of all the exterior angles again that will be equal to 
360 degree for any quadrilateral for any polygon got it it will always be 360 degree that also you can check using your uh, using any draw any kind of figure draw measure all the all the angles and see to it what is the sum you will get it 360 only okay i my either you'll get 359 or 361 because there will be some error in your diagram yeah but it will, it will be almost near to 360 yeah fine now the next part sum of extra angles we have done yeah now let us start uh, with wait yeah let us start with some examples the sum of interior angles of a polygon is four times the sum of its in exterior angle. Then find the number of sides in the polygon. Okay. What you have to do? You have to find the number of sides of the polygon in this case. The sum of interior angles of a polygon. What is sum of interior angles of a polygon? 180. Of a polygon. There is a formula 2n minus 4 into 90 degree. Yeah, we don't know what is the number of sides of this polygon. Yeah, this is what sum of interior angles of a polygon is 4 times the sum of exterior angles. What is sum of exterior angles of a polygon? 360. Yeah, this is always 360. Yeah, now what they have said. The sum of interior angles of a polygon is four times the sum of exterior angles. If I say this is my interior angles is equals to four times the sum of exterior angles. Yeah. Sum of interior angles is four times the yes, sum of sir. yeah exterior angles. Ashutosh, your face is not visible. I don't know what kind of filter you have you are using. It's completely it's I don't know. You are not visible only. Change the settings. The make it, make it, make it, make it, make it normal. Okay, Ashutosh, make it normal. It's fine. Now, sum of interior angles. Sum of interior angles. Uh, uh, sum of interior angles. What is that? Two n minus four into ninety. Four into sum of exterior angles. Sum of exterior angles is always three sixty. Understood this? How many of you have understood this part? Please raise your hands like this. Now the next, uh, the next uh, that is you need to solve this. Yeah. So over here, two n minus four equals four into three sixty <coughs> upon ninety. This zero zero again. Four four fours are sixteen. Two n minus four equals four fours are sixteen. So sixty. This four goes on that side. Two n equals twenty. And then n equals 10. So, what do you get? The number of sides. Therefore, the number of sides to the polygon to the polygon are 10. Got it? Yeah, understood. No, everything is clear. Yeah. Sir, can you repeat it once more? Okay fine since this is the first sum that's why i'm repeating see what you have the sum of interior angles of a polygon is four times the sum of its exterior angle now what is sum uh -huh. of interior angles we know this formula we have learned this formula right sum of interior angles yes, sir. yeah that is this and sum of exterior angles is this 360 they have given sum of interior angles is four times the sum of exterior angles yes then I have kept both the values and then just normally solved and got the value of ns 10. And then that's what the okay, number sir, of sides. Fine. fine. Next. The next is this question number two. But actually we don't have these questions in the exercise. You don't have this question in the exercise. How is it possible? No, sir. You are using a Frank book. Frank, yeah. Yeah. I am using a Selena book. The Frank book is uh, uh, not sufficient, I feel so. I have seen the Frank book. Yeah, they have not given all the questions which will come. 
सर वी हैव डायग्राम वन फुल ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन आर डायग्राम अच्छा दैट डायग्राम क्वेश्चन विल आल्सो कम बट नॉट नाउ दैट विल कम आफ्टर दिस या द नेक्स्ट द एंगल्स ऑफ अ पेंटागन आर इन द रेशियो दिस फाइंड ईच एंगल्स ऑफ द पेंटागन पेंटागन मींस हाउ मेनी साइड्स द द द पॉलीगन हैज फाइव फाइव साइड्स राइट फाइव फाइव साइड्स फाइव इक्वल साइड्स और फाइव साइड्स ओनली फॉर सर फाइव साइड्स फाइव साइड्स या इट हैज ओनली फाइव साइड्स दे हैव इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी दैट इट विल हैव फाइव इक्वल साइड्स या यस या व्हेन दे से रेगुलर पेंटागन देन सर देन इक्वल या देन इट विल देन इट वी कैन से इट इज अ इट हैज इक्वल साइड्स द एंगल्स ऑफ अ पेंटागन आर इन द रेशियो लाइक दिस दैट मींस One is four x, the other one is eight x, the other one is again six x. This is four x, and this is five x. But what we know, what is the sum of interior angles of a of a pentagon? We can get. No, 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 not three sixty. You have to use that formula. Two n minus four into ninety. Two n minus four into ninety. Yeah, please don't shout. Yeah, why? Two n minus four into ninety. Yeah. So what we know. Sum of sum of interior angles of a polygon will be equal to what? Two n minus four into five. Since it's a pentagon, so we can write pentagon over here, not polygon. Of a pentagon. Oh wait. Pentagon, no. So this in 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 place of n, you will have five into ninety. Yeah. But what we have sum of interior angles as this all are the sides. So you can add add all of them. What is the four x plus five x plus four x <coughs> plus six x plus eight x will be equal to ten minus four. That is six six nine are fifty four. That is five forty. So sum of interior angles is five forty. Add all these values. Uh, for this is ten, nineteen, nineteen plus eight. That is twenty-seven. So twenty-seven x equals five forty. Yeah. So x will be equal to five forty by twenty-seven. We can uh, yes. if you solve it. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. X equals twenty. Understood. That means what? X is twenty. That means what are the each angle? Find each angle of the pentagon. So each angle means all the angles are. Sir, four into twenty find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashutosh, 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 why don't you listen? What I have said, you you will answer only when it is asked. When I teach at that time, what what will be the answer? Then I will be saying. But when I stop at that time, only you have to answer. So over here, the value of four x will be what? That is four x. Will be four into twenty, and that is eighty. Yeah, and similarly you can get all the values over here. The value of five x, four x, six x, and eight x, and you will get all the angles of the pentagon. Fine. Got it, everyone? Yeah. yeah. Fine. Next. One angle of a six-sided polygon is this, and the other angles are equal. Find the measure of each equal angle. Let us do this. What you have? One angle of a six-sided polygon. Now over here it is a six-sided polygon. You don't need to draw the diagram. Huh? <coughs> the diagram which I am drawing for all the questions, it is not necessary to draw. Why I am drawing the diagram? Only for the understanding purpose. To understand, to explain, and you should understand what we are doing exactly. Okay. Now over here, one angle of a six-sided polygon is 140 degree. Yeah. So it is a six-sided polygon. So let me draw a six-sided polygon like this. There's how many four, then five, and then six. Yeah, this is a six-sided polygon. Then after that, what they said is 140. One of the angle is 140 degree, and the other angles are equal. That means if this is x, this is x. This will also be x. This will also be x, and this will also be x. For six sides, there will be six angles. For three sides, see the triangle has three sides, so it will have three angles, right? A quadrilateral has four sides. It will have four angles. So if if it has six sides, it will have six angles. If it has ten sides, it will have ten angles. 
got it yeah now one angle of a six sided polygon is 140 degree what is sum of sum of interior angles 2n minus 4 into 90 degree yeah now we have sum of interior angles will be 140 plus how many axes you have 5x all of them are equal no that's why i have taken all of them as x will be equal to the value of n in this case will be 6 because it is a six sided polygon so it is 2 into 6 minus 4 into 90 now solve this and give me the answer in the chat box okay 140 plus 5x as it is this is 12 minus 4 that is 8 into 90 Yeah. After that, this uh, 5x it will be, and 8 into 90 that is 720. This 140 will come on this side minus 140. Yeah. 5x equals 0. 12 minus 4 is 8. 6 minus 1 is 5. 580. Then x will be equal to 580 divided by 5. You did not tell me yet what where you made the mistake. Five ones are five. Sir. Five ones are five. Three five six are. Yeah. Where you made the mistake? Sir, I wrote six two are eighteen. Very good. Fine. Next. In a polygon, there are five right angles, and the remaining angles are equal to one ninety five degree each. Find the number of sides in the polygon. They have said, right? So in a polygon, there are five right angles. now over here there are five right angles how you can make a polygon it is a convex po convex polygon or concave polygon see if we, if convex. we make convex it is concave polygon it has to be like this means one of the angle means if you are making for this right angles then it it has to be like this Yeah, but we don't need to draw sure, the diagram. Yeah. But your one ninety five is written, na? No? Yeah, but over here they said there are five right angles. A five right angles cannot is not possible in a convex polygon. If you draw five right angles, it will close the figure. Sir, Once, one minute. Sir, one minute. Sir, first of all, polygon it has five sides, no? And here it's written that there are five right angles. So polygon uh, does not right mean polygon. Also. Polygon does not mean five sides. Polygon means only closed figure. Ah, sorry, sorry, sir. Pentagon. Yeah, pentagon means five, five equal, five sides. Yeah. Now let us solve. There are five right angles, and the remaining angles are equal to one ninety five degree. Are equal, and the remaining angles are equal to one ninety five degree each. Okay. Find the number of sides in the polygon. Okay. We don't know what are the total number of sides, but we know that. Of them, five angles are ninety degree. Okay, what we know, five angles are ninety degree. <coughs> let us say, let the number of let the number of angles or number of angles. The, let the total number of let the total number of angles be five plus k. Why I am written five plus k? Because we know already we know that there are five right angles into it, but there are even more angles which each angle are one in one ninety five degree. So what I am considering, let the total number of angles be five plus k. We don't know whether it is ten angles total, whether it is fourteen angles total, or whether it is fifteen angles total. We don't know that. Yeah, but we know that we can say five plus k angles. Why I have written five plus k? Because we know that five fixed angles we have, and there are k into one ninety five angles, right? So sum of interior angles will be what? Two n. Two n minus four into ninety. No, no, no. Not we will not be using that over here. See, first we will use this case as per the given case. There are five right angles, <coughs> so five into ninety. Five right angles in the in the in the polygon, plus yes, plus k into 195 degree because there are 195 degree each angle, and we don't know how many angles in this. 
So that's why I have, what I have written K into 195. Fine. Yes. Sir, so for this one, why did what? What you are saying? For this sum, why didn't we use uh, the 2n minus 4? We are going to use the formula. We are going to use. But sum of interior angles is also equal to for a polygon. Okay. This is as per the case. Now I am doing with the formula. As per the formula, it is what? 2 n minus 4 into 90 degree. But over here, how many number of sides it will have? We don't know that. But we yes. know that the total number of angles are how many? 5 plus k angles. 5 plus k. Yeah. So if it has 5 plus k angles, so how many sides it will have? If a quadrilateral has 4... 5 plus k. Yeah, there, there will be 5 plus k sides. How, sir? How or like that only? Yeah, I'll tell you. A pentagon has how many sides? Sir, 5. Uh, five how, sides. how many angles it has? 5. Ah, 5. Yeah. So, same way. If it has 5 plus k angles, so how many sides it will have? 5 plus k. Achha. The number of angles are always equal to number of sides, no? So, over here, n is what? The number of sides. So, over here, you can put 2 into 5 plus k minus 4 into 90. I can say this. Now, what we will do? This both are sum of interior angles. We can equate both of them. Yeah. So, let us equate yeah. both of them. That is 5 into 90 <coughs> into, sorry, there will be plus over here. Yeah, over here it should be plus. I, by mistake, I have written it over here, multiplication. It should be plus. Plus k into 195 will be equal to the value of this. That is 2 into 5 plus k minus 4 into 90. Please solve this and get the value of k. Sir, I have got a very odd value. Mm -hmm. Sir, Ajib it is. It is Ajib. Ah. Fine. Yes, sir. Sir, Fine. can I tell? No. It's it's wrong. No, why? Why? Now see over here, I'll solve it. 5 into 90, that is 450 plus 195. Fraction is there, sir? No, it is not in fraction. It will not come in fraction. Now over here, 2 fives are 10. Sir, I have written you. I have written the answer to you. Okay, okay. No, it is not right. Now see over here, I am solving. Yeah. Now over here, 450 plus 195k is equals to 10 minus 4. That is how much? 6 plus 2k into 90. So 450 plus 195k is equals to, let's 6 9s are 54, 540, 2 9s are 18. Two nines are eighteen, so one eighty k. Yeah. So one ninety five k over here as it is. If this one eighty k comes on this side, it will be minus one eighty k is equal to five forty minus four fifty. So this is fifteen k. Five forty minus four fifty. Zero minus zero is zero. Fourteen minus five is ninety. Nine. So k equals ninety divided by fifteen. Six. So, why no one is getting this answer? Sir, because uh, nothing. I don't want to tell. Yeah. Sir, I was solving. Did you get the answer? I got it till, sir, I got till that it's just 2 k yeah. into 19. Yeah. You but should be knowing how to solve this type of equation. That's why I'm telling you how to solve it. Yeah, you need to do a lot of practice of solving such equations. Yeah. Only then you will get the answer. Even if Sir, by... I got confused because of those brackets. I yeah. just multiplied by 6. 19 yeah. to 6. I didn't multiply 19 to 10. You have to do it properly. Yeah? Got it, everyone? Uh -huh. Yeah? Yes. Fine. Fine. So the value of K is 6 we got. Find the number of sides in the polygon. If the value of K is 6, what we have said, let the total number of angles be 5 plus K. That means the number of sides is also 5 plus K. What we can say, therefore, the total number of sides 
to the polygon to the polygon is how much 5 plus k no the value of k is 6 so answer is 11 means that the polygon has 11 sides understood this yeah how many of you clear everything yes sir everything clear please raise your hands yeah okay 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 fine fine the next question there a polygon with 11 sides will be called what there is some name for 12 sides it is dodecagon for level side also there is oct no, there is some name. I don't remember it. For 10 sides, yeah, it is decagon. Se jada sides can't be there. Na? It can be there. A polygon with infinite sides is also there. You know it. What is circle. that? Circle. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. A polygon with infinite sides are circle. Is circle. Yeah. The next. Sir, so scientists have named all these sides uh, till infinity. Yeah, yeah. Oh, means they have named to some of some number of sides. <clears throat> okay. Next. The next is three angles of a seven-sided polygons are 132 degree. Each and the remaining four angles are equal. Find the value of each equal angle. Yeah, please solve by yourself the fifth problem. <clears throat> okay. I will start it now. Now three angles of a seven-sided polygons are 132 degree each. Yeah. There are total if they have it has seven-sided polygons, so it will have seven angles. So three angles of them are 132 degree. So you can say three into 132. Yeah, 3 into 132 will be the sum of 3 angles and the remaining 4 angles are equal that means plus 4 into x should be equal to what the sum of angles now what is the formula for sum of uh, angles for a 7 sided polygon so it will be 2 into 7 minus 4 into 90 yes or no just solve this you will get the answer now over here the value of x you need to find find the value of each equal angle so over here, 3 into 132, that is 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 1s are 3, plus 4x is equals to 14 minus 4, that is 10, into 90. So 4x will be equal to 900 minus 396. So 4x will be equal to 10 minus 6 is 4, 9 minus 9 is 0, 8 minus 3 is 5. So x equals 4 1s are, 4 2s are, 4 8s are. No, for six are. Yes, sir. I got also it. got the same answer. You got the same answer. Very good. Fine. Okay. Fine then. Now we'll start with the next question. Now the next question is uh, over here. Two angles of an eight-sided polygon are this. If the remaining angles are equal to each other, find the magnitude of each equal each of the equal angle. You can do this sum in your homework. In a pentagon, AB is parallel to DC and angle E is to angle E is to DR. Find the angle E. This is also easy because, uh, chalo, fine, we'll solve this question, seventh one. Now, over here, in a pentagon, ABCD, AB is parallel to DC. Now, what we can do, AB is parallel to DC. Okay, let's say this is AB and this is DC. They both are parallel and it is a pentagon, no? So we can say the figure is like this. It has five sides now. These two lines are parallel. What we can say? If this is A, B, C, D and E. Now A, B, C, D are parallel. A, B is parallel to D, C. Yeah. What they said? Angle A, angle E. <coughs> they are in this ratio. Let's say this is 3x. Angle E is how much? 4x and angle D is 5x. What do we know about this angle B and angle C? What, what they will be? 
they will be 90 90 each yes or no they will be 90 90 degree yes or no yes sir. how many of you are saying yes please raise your hands please raise your hands how many of you are saying yes that is not right now anyone tell me why it cannot be sir but it is right sir only two angles have 90 degree the rest all angles are 90 what sir wait just one minute wait sir so it is not necessary that BC is a straight line. Exactly. Can it can be a slanting line also. Means if I have drawn it over here like this, even it is not a straight line. I can draw this line like this also, no? Then also it is a pentagon. Then also AB is parallel to CD. I cannot say both of them are 90-90 degree each. But what I can see is angle B plus angle C will be how much? 180. 180. 180. Yeah, that I can say. But I cannot say angle B and angle C are 90, 90 degree each. 90. You cannot say that. Okay. So angle B plus angle C is 180 degree. Now over here, sum of interior angles again. Sum of interior angles will be equal to 2n minus 4 <coughs> into 90 degree. Sum of interior angles will be equal to this 180 plus 3x plus 4x plus 5x will be equal to 2. Number of sides are 5. So 2 into 5 that is 10. 10 minus 4 is uh, 6. 6 into 9 is 540. Yeah. So this is 3 plus 4 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. So 12x equals 540 <coughs> minus 180. So 12x equals how much? This 0, 14 minus 8, 4, 4, 6, 4 minus 1, 360. So x equals how much? 30. So the measure of each angle will be how much? If x is 30, then the measure of angle A will be 90 degree. The measure of angle E will be uh, 4, 3 is a 120 degree. And the measure of angle D will be 150 degree. Got it? Yeah. And you can see the sum of all of them will be 540 degree. Understood everyone? Yeah, clear, no? Okay, the next problem. Over here, AB, BC and CD are the three consecutive sides of a regular polygon. Now, this is a regular polygon. Whenever they say regular polygon, regular, the regular means what? The polygon has all the sides are equal. Okay? Now, we have a regular polygon. So, whenever you have a regular polygon, you can draw it like this. We don't know how many sides it has. But all the sides will be equal. How many sides it has, we don't know. But all the sides will be equal. And when all the sides are equal, all the exterior angles are also equal and all the interior angles are also equal. Now, let us understand the uh, condition <coughs> for a regular, regular polygon. Now, what is each interior angle of a regular polygon? Each interior angle. See, what we know, the total sum of all the interior angles is how much? 2n minus 4 into 90 degree. <coughs> this is what sum of all the interior angles. But if you want each interior angle, then you have to divide with the number of angles, no? So we get each interior angle of a regular polygon. This will be the formula to get the each interior angle of a regular polygon if you know what is the number of sides. Understood? Yeah? Also, what will be each exterior angle? Exterior angle of a <clears throat> regular polygon. We know that what is the sum of exterior angles of a regular of a polygon? 360. 360. Mm -hmm. Since it will have n number of angles, if, an, if it has n sides, it will have n number of angles. All the angles are equal, so it will be, if you divide it with 10, you will get the each exterior angle. 
got it how many of you have understood this formula please raise your over here a b b c and c d are three consecutive sides of a regular polygon now if angle b a c is 115 find each interior angle of a polygon okay let me draw this just if this is that polygon i don't know what is the total number of sides okay what they get what did what did they give a b b c and c d are the three consecutive sides okay after that what they say are three consecutive sides of a regular polygon if angle b a c angle b a c so means uh, if i will have to draw this line angle b a c is how much 15 degree yeah now since it's a regular polygon it will have number of sides huh? i have not the, completed the figure because why i have not completed the figure anyone why i have not completed well, because it will have more figures more figures it's only the half one sides number of sides is not mentioned yeah the number of sides i don't know why i have not completed the figure because i don't know what number of sides it has that's why Oh. Yeah, I need to know how many number of sides it has that only then I can close the diagram. Otherwise, I cannot. That's why I have not closed it. Now, I have made it as if this is 15. Now, since it's a regular polygon, all these sides will be equal, no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now, if all these sides are equal, can I say triangle BAC is an isosceles triangle? Yes, sir. Yeah. If because triangle two sides are equal. Yes. If two sides are equal, what will be angle BCA then? 15. 15. If this is also 15, what will be angle ABC? 15. Uh, no. No. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> 150. Okay. How? Sir, so 180 minus 30. Triangle. Perfect. 180 minus 30. 180 minus 30. 30. Yes. So therefore, the each interior angle is how much? Each interior angle of a polygon is how much? 150. Understood? Yeah. Clear, no? Sir, but how uh, yeah. is it compulsory that 150 each interior angle will be? Yeah, each interior angle will be because it's a regular polygon, no? Ah, okay. Regular polygon means all interior angles will be same. Yeah, all interior angles, all sides will be same. Yeah, so each interior angle of a polygon is 150. Now, once we know if each interior angle is 150, can we find what will be the exterior angle? If this is 150, if I draw a line over here, what will be this exterior angle? Sir, one. Okay, fine. Next, the number of sides of the polygon. What will be the number of sides? Now, how we will find the number of sides? See, we, we, we have oh. interior. Now, the exterior angle is even more easy. The solving ex means the exterior angle is very easy. If you know the number of sides. That is only 360 by n, no? We know the, what is the exterior angle. Right? Each exterior angle. Exterior angle of a regular polygon polygon equals how much 360 divided by n yeah so each exterior angle is how much 30 degree so 30 is equals 360 by n this n goes on that side this 30 comes on this side n equals 360 by 30 this 0 0 gone what you get 12 that means the polygon has 12 sides understood you can also solve it with the interior angles the interior angle which you have is 150 you can solve with the interior angle also see i will solve with the interior angle what is the formula for each interior angle is this the formula for each interior angle this is for each interior angle what is each interior angle 150 yeah, each interior angle is 150. I can solve with this also. If I take this over here, 150 n will be equal to, you can multiply 2 n into 90, that is 180 n minus 4 into 9, that is uh, 4 9s are 36, 360. Yeah, 
so if this 360 goes on this side 180 n minus 150 n so 360 will again will be equal to 30 n and then again n will be equal to 12. so better part was doing with the exterior angle no yeah you can solve with the exterior as well as interior the next is the ninth one The ratio between an exterior angle and an interior angle of a regular polygon is 2 is to 3. Find the number of sides in the polygon. Yeah. The ratio between an exterior angle and an interior angle of a regular polygon. Now again they say regular polygon. We know what is the formula for regular, uh, what is the formula for interior as well as exterior angle. Yeah. For interior, you can say each interior angle of regular polygon what is the formula 2n minus 4 into 90 divided by n yeah and what is each exterior angle of regular polygon What is the formula for that? That is 360 by n. What they said, the ratio of the exterior angle and an interior angle. The ratio of exterior to interior. What is the exterior? 360 by n divided by the interior. That is this one. 2n minus 4 into 90 divided by n is equal to what? The ratio of both of them is how much? 2 is to 3. Can you solve it? <coughs> yeah. See, to solve this, what you have to do? How you will start to solve? <coughs> Anyone? Sir, we will send the below fraction on the other side. Okay, fine. That is fine. Anyone else? A easier way. Sir, we will multiply Cross everything multiply. by n. Yeah, Arushi, what you are saying? Cross multiply. <clears throat> no, Spruha. <clears throat> no. See, whenever you have this kind of double fractions, fraction on fraction, so the numerator and numerator can be cancelled and this denominator and denominator can also be cancelled. Okay? By taking the multiples of each other. See, this n and this n is same now, so you can cancel. Yeah, this 90, sir, so 4, 40, are. 4, 4, sorry. So, what you get? 4 upon 2n minus 4 equals 2 upon 3. It becomes easy. Yeah. Now, cross multiply. Cross multiply. 4 into 3 <coughs> equals 2 into 2n minus 4. So, that is 12 divided by 2 equals 2n minus 4. So, 2n minus 4 is equals to 6. So, 2n equals 10. So, n equals 5. 5. Clear everyone? How many of you have understood everything? The next is, uh, you can try this all sums at your home. Okay, this sum is also we have, I have done. Uh, this two sums, you can try at your home. If you have any difficulty, you can ask 